Hi everybody. Today I will teach you how you can extract Amazon rating and reviews directly from Google Sheets. Basically how you can build an Amazon review scraper into Google Sheets. To do so, we'll use a Google Sheet add-on, a Google Sheet app called Import from Web. So you can find it into the Google Workspace Marketplace. And once you're on the page, uh, you just install the add-on and you get it into your Google Sheets. Import from Web is an add-on that enables you to collect any web data uh, in a full no-code mode. Uh, basically for Amazon, it's really no-code. You just have to follow the guide, follow the video I'm going to show you, and you'll see that scraping reviews will be an easy task for you. Uh, so you to make it, um, you just open a Google Sheets and you have to install or to activate the add-on because you have installed it already. So you just install, activate the add-on within your Google Sheets, just like that. <clears throat> and I'm going to explain you how it works. Basically, Import from Web gives you a function that extracts the data from the page you want. So it requires mainly two arguments. The first one is uh, the, the, the URL of the page you want to scrape the data from. And second argument uh, is the data selector to capture the information you want on the page. Okay, so it works as any Google Sheets function. And this is what I'm going to show you. You just input import from web, just like this. Okay, you open the bracket and you see the argument, the parameters that the function requires. So the URL first and then the selectors. Okay, so this is what we're going to look for. Um, I'm here on a, on a Philips Expresso machine, okay? And here are the ratings. As you know, on the product page, Amazon does not show all the reviews. So to get them all, you have to go at the end of this shortlist and click on the see all reviews link. And there you are on the Philips rating and reviews uh, page where you have them all, the, the more than 4,000 reviews in that case. So what we're going to do is we're going to take and copy this URL and paste it on my Google Sheet because this is the first argument the function requires. And then um, to capture the data you want, meaning that the reviews and the ratings, we're going to input some data selectors that we have built or pre-built for you. So let's follow those selectors. Uh, you have, let's say, the reviews rating. So you get the rating from the users. The second selector would be the re review title and then the review body. Okay, so you get the full quotes uh, from the users. So this is, in, in our case, the rating, the title, and the body of the review. Okay, so how can we get them for that first review pages because again on that page on that review page on Amazon you have you have uh, many pages okay so on that first one so let's follow the guide you just input input from web just like that you open the brackets you select the URL first and then you will collect the review rating um, and you close the bracket you validate the function and so what's happening now, the function sends the scraper to the page and collect every single rating on that page, okay? You say, okay, that's gonna be better if we can add to each rating the title and the body. No worries, no problem. Import from web can scrape much than one data point at a time. So we're gonna just complete C1 and look um, uh, the, the two other selectors, review title, review body. So I close it again, and you see that data are coming. Okay, so starting to be better. Um, now I'm just a bit disappointed because I get only 10 reviews, so I want more reviews. No worries. Again, Import from Web has the possibility to scrape up to 50 URLs at a time. So 
it needs the URL. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the next page button, um, which loads the second page. I take the URL. I paste my URL here. Okay. Just like that. Okay. And let's take the third page as well. Um, okay. Just like this. Paste it here. Okay. If you review rapidly the, the, the structure of the URL, you'll see that Amazon just add like uh, the, the ID of the page at the end of the URL. Just like this, you have the three. So you can easily build more URL just dragging it down. Um, no, dragging it down doesn't work, but you can build it yourself. Okay. Just like this, I can copy it and change it to the number three by the number four. Okay, so here you are. Now I will show you how you can scrape all the URLs at one. Uh, basically, as we did with the selectors, I can scrape more than one single URL. So I go from B2 to B5, uh, and I just validate my function. I will retrieve all the reviews for these four pages. Okay. You see them all, they are here, okay? Quite good. And now you'll tell me, uh, in some cases, that may be more interesting for you to script only, I don't know, the one-star reviews, if you want to get to know what's wrong with your products, or uh, maybe only the most recent reviews, or whatever. Any filter you use, change the URL. So in our case, I just want the one-star reviews. So I copy that URL, I paste it here, Okay, let me remove the three other ones that are useless now. And um, yeah, my filter applied, now I get only the one star reviews. Well, not much, not, not more complex than this. Uh, the last thing I wanna show you is the template, the Google Sheet template we made for you, uh, which made things even easier. This is a template uh, I will, put the, the, the link into the description. Just copy it, activate Import from Web uh, through the extension menu, and then open the Amazon Reviews Extractor. Uh, there you just have to paste the URL, and the scraper will do the job for you because it's already ready, I would say. The function has been inputted already here, and it's retrieved the data you have requested from this URL meaning the rating and reviews and even the location of the of the um, of even the store where the review reviews have been left and the dates and uh, so on hope you enjoyed that video and see you for the next one